So here's Pete's bedspread, mapped with SketchUp, lots of distortion going on. Now, these big uh, flat areas that you have in it aren't going to help in UV Layout Pro, so you should triangle it. And the best way to triangle it, I think, is the TGI plug, and I know you have it, so I re highly recommend that because. I've already run it, I just undid it, so I'm just going to redo it here. And you can see it really does a nice job triangulating all those areas. It joins up all the warts, it's a brilliant tool. So I recommend that's the first thing you do. Once it's triangulated, just export the UVs. I did a shortcut there, out of habit, but export. UVs to OBJ using Dale's UV Tools Pro Beta. Open up your UV layout. It looks like this. Click load. Navigate to that folder that I told you in the dialog box. Make sure you have these checked on. Because when you open originally they're checked off. Make sure they're checked on. Select your file. Load. So here's your your shell as it's called in UV layout that you want to map. If you wanted to cut, you can press the C key and it'll start cutting around on your mesh. Wherever you want it to do. We have no real need to on the mesh like this. I'm just gonna show you how something like this can be mapped quickly. So you press the D key to drop it, and it still shows you in 3D. Well, basically, this will show you where the seams are if you had any. And now press U. And here's our UV space. So this is this represents your texture. If you wanted to, you could lower the texture in here. The texture will to apply. To see it in the background, but there's no real need. I'll just select this. And press Shift and F. To pelt map it out. So this is trying to make it all a dark blue. Really relax out the UVs and get a ready to unwrap. And it does this for 60 seconds and it shows you a countdown, but you can stop it at any stage by pressing space. So I'll just stop it here and show you what happens next. Now it's starting to unwrap as best as it can. And it's going to give you some visual clues um, to the levels of distortion happening with your mesh. So blue and red and green. Green is good. Red and blue aren't really that good. One is compression and one is stretching. And you can see the red starting to come in over all the corners of the mattress here. You can see where your seams are coming off those into your bedspread. Are areas where your texture is going to be slightly distorted. There's only eight seconds left on this. It's nearly there. The darker the color, the more severe. So we have it mapped or unwrapped. Sorry. So let's take a look at it. Display 3D. So here we are, and it's showing you all the distortion. If I press the T key, I can apply a checker. So you can see, look at the size of the square, and at the corner, it's gotten really stretched. And in around here, it's gotten really compressed. And there is a way of dealing with that. I'm just going to go back to the UV space, optimize. And what optimize will do. Just click run for and as you can see it starts off with a figure here it's trying to get this down to one and what it's doing is it's looking at the mesh it's looking at your good your bad areas compression versus distortion and it's trying to equalize 
So it's trying to push, say, make the areas that are dark blue not as dark. The areas that are light red a slight or pink slightly bit more darker pink. So you get some sort of equalization going on. It does help. You can see we started at 26 up here. We're down to 8, down to 5. You might notice it, but all these little areas have they're just all slightly moving that much just to give it a bit more space in around here and to give you a better mapping but as you can see it started to creep back up to nine and it ran out of time so it stopped but what i'm going to do i'm just going to hold in space and left mouse button i can spin it spin it if i hold space and the right mouse button I can shrink it down and straight away you can see it's all gone red that's telling me I've just messed up all the mapping but a simple means of that is I scaled it down so you tell it you've just scaled it locally and it puts you back where you are hunky dory so now we just save save done dismiss we can pop back into SketchUp we can import that map back in using tails import uvs the lines will count 11,000 okay there you have it nicely mapped i'm just going to try something here something i don't normally do safeguard the texture map and i like this where is it remove unnecessary edges so there you are you're back where you are and we have one little area here that's and one little area here so if we now restore the texture map it hasn't done it so that won't work for you and see it's messed that up so keep it triangulated if you can hope that helps and um, let me know if if there's if you have another action mesh that i can play with that shows me cutting it'd be grand